Plaster, which is a combination of lime or gypsum and water, has been used for hundreds of years as a casting medium in artwork, for making molds, and creating long-lasting castings. It is an important component in three-dimensional art as well as architecture. This short video will explain the best practices used in mixing plaster for both strength and longevity. The tools used are simple enough, a scale for weighing, some kind of mixing tool, either manual for small batches or mechanical for larger batches, and mixing containers. There are two methods of portioning out plaster and water ratios, either by volume or by weight. If by weight, the mix ratio is 65 parts of water per 100 parts plaster, or simply a ratio of 6.5 to 10. That means that for every 10 pounds of plaster, you need 6.5 pounds of water. Knowing this, you can calculate the amount of water needed for other amounts of plaster by multiplying the weight of the plaster by 6.5. You can also portion our plaster and water by volume. As an example, adding two and three quarter pounds of plaster to one quart of water will provide the correct water plaster mix ratio. Both the plaster and the water should be cool or at least room temperature. Colder water will improve the strength of the plaster but it also slows the setting process too. Never use hot water as it speeds up the set time much too quickly. Once the proportions of plaster and water are measured out, we carefully cast the plaster onto the water's surface. We try to avoid adding large amounts at once to avoid a lumpy mix. And especially, you should never add water to the plaster as it will create lumps that are hard to remove. In other words, always add plaster to the water. Once we finish adding the plaster, we allow the plaster to soak undisturbed for about two and up to four minutes, depending on the batch size. This is known as slaking. This allows the plaster to begin to absorb the water or hydrate. For less than five pounds of plaster, sitting in the water for just a minute undisturbed is enough, but for larger amounts, wait at least two minutes. When adequately slaked, we begin mixing. Mixing may take two to five minutes, depending on the batch size the use of an electric mixer, and the product recommendations or requirements. The longer the mix though, the stronger the final cured plaster will be. Since we are only mixing a small amount, we like to mix by hand as we can feel for any lumps and squeeze them out between our fingers. When finished mixing, we hold off pouring the plaster right away. We take another minute to gently stir the plaster and bump the bucket on the floor or slap it vigorously on the side to encourage air bubbles to rise to the surface. While stirring, you should be able to feel the resistance growing, and then the shiny surface of the plaster begins to dull after a minute or two. At this time, you will detect a slight increase in the viscosity of the plaster and a laying of the surface shine. Now is the moment to pour. We want to pour a thin stream of plaster in one corner of the mold, allowing it to flow across the mold surface to avoid air entrapment. After pouring, gently slap the sides of the mold to settle the plaster or shake the table from side to side a few minutes. Vibrate or agitate the mold to release any trapped air. Then set the mold aside, undisturbed, for curing. The plaster will gradually harden, release heat, and expand slightly, about 1%. In 25 to 35 minutes, the plaster will feel very warm and hard to the touch. Now it can be removed from the mold at this point. Immediately after demolding, trim, patch, and scrape as necessary but don't use the new plaster cast until it is completely dry. This will take a week or more, depending on its thickness. But you may speed up the process by setting the plaster in an airy, warm spot. However, do not put plaster in an oven or kiln to dry it. Temperatures above 125 Fahrenheit will damage the plaster. Following these simple plaster mixing steps, you will have created an extremely strong plaster cast that will stand the test of time for many decades to come and beyond.